old chair again, or your new old chair. What's this face? Are you okay? I know. I gotta. Yeah, but I don't know how to. I gotta. I gotta look at it. Yeah. Is the pump with it, or is it like somewhere else? I don't see a pump with it. No, I, I, I just see the attachment. You know. I think I have it put away upstairs somewhere. What's the matter, honey? It's got a weird-looking face. Do you want to go to school? Hey, we're gonna go on a new adventure. I know you're not used to getting up this early. Gonna help you on the bus today. I think that's why this, he has this face. No, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I love you, honey. <laughs> no, no, don't hug me after saying something like that. You make it. I mean, my goodness, Julie. You make it too easy. That, that <laughs> you just make deep. it too easy. That hurt me so deep. That cut to the core. What did she say? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I would. How love do you really that. feel? His whole demeanor changed. Hi. <laughs> it's a happy, happy morning, everybody. Is on. Everybody's going to camp and school. Thomas is going to big camp. So there's an SUV up there. We thought, oh, great. School is uh, already off to a great start with Daniel. They're setting an SUV to pick him up, not realizing he's in a wheelchair. But it's not. It's the supervisor of the bus company coming to assist the bus and picking Daniel up to make sure everything goes smoothly. I don't want to think that everything's going to be wrong. I think it might be okay. I just have to make sure that the school has all his stuff set up. <sighs> Maybe they will pleasantly surprise us. Look at this garden. Oh my god. I have poison ivy all over my arms. But look at this garden. It's like in there there are plants and poison ivy. I think I'm going to rescue the plants as many as I can and just plow down all of it with a lawnmower. <laughs> Thomas is going to band camp, everyone. And band camp means... John needs to buy a bigger car. Uh, what do we have? A tuba, a bass guitar. Are you going to be... Is he going to be able to get all this inside? His amp. Whoops. A French horn. A euphonium. What's a euphonium? And a... Trombone. A euphonium's like a baby tuba. And a trombone, bass trombone. Why does he need a big tuba and a little tuba? Why can't he just play one tuba? You don't understand these things, do you? I don't understand. I don't Your understand. son is... We have a, a music room in our car. Daddy wants to know why can't you... Why do you have to play a big tuba and a small tuba? Why do you have to... <laughs> why can't you just play one tuba? I explained this to you yesterday what the reason for that. So, because if I play trombone and jazz band, I'll play euphonium and concert band, which is that. But if I play bass and jazz band, I'm going to play trombone. So it depends on what I'm doing. I told you he had a reason. There's a reason for Thomas's instruments. There's a reason. I room for my swim bag and my gym bag. For having a car that has lots of space. We need a bigger one. Um, uh, like a Honda Pilot. So I'm gonna drop him off. Or a school bus. And then I'm going to um, I'm gonna go to the gym. Or a Mack truck. Then I'm gonna take a shower at the gym. <laughs> and then I'm going to see if the chiropractor can fit me in. And then we'll see what time it is after that. Okay. So I'll see you sometime. I'll be around. This afternoon. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know where Daniel's bus is. Daniel's bus is late. Daniel's bus is this late. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be here now. What do you see? What? It's over there. Come on. What are you doing? Daniel, look at all the people here to greet you. Bus driver from last year. Oh my goodness, Henry. Goodbye, bus. There goes the bus. It's a different bus. A bus 46. Bye, Daniel. Off to summer school they go. There's a safety supervisor, too, which is nice because that bus is full of special needs children. And, of course, Daniel is the oldest and most fragile on that bus. But I recognize some of the kids. I'm Ms. Basselberger. <laughs> so cute. All right, so, Henry, I need to get ready and uh, get over there to check it out.
and Henry has a haircut today at 10.30. So we have a lot of things going on. And then Dale has therapy at 3.30. Our home therapist comes. After that, I'm not really quite sure. Thomas is with John. John has band camp first day, which is kind of making me sad because um, I want to go, but I'll go tomorrow. Band camp is pretty important, but thankfully I have John to help me because I would not have been able to do both of these things. Right, Henry? Okay. Yeah, he took Tuesdays and Thursdays off for like the month of July and August, or as long as the camp, or just a couple weeks, I think, to help me out so that on certain days I'll be able to just go to work once we establish that Daniel's okay. So good morning. Um, it's 9.30 now. Uh, I got Daniel on the bus to send him over to his new summer school program, and I am now heading over there. It's it's at another elementary school in our town. We have four. We have um, like one on each corner. It's a big town surface wise, you know, mileage wise. So it's way on the other side of town, which I'm just looking at the map. It's like a 20 minute drive from here. So God only knows how long he was on the bus. But I was a little nervous because the bus was full, every seat um, with children and most of them were younger. And the reason I get nervous, um, is, is really just for for Daniel's sake, you know, because he's so susceptible to immune system issues and germs and um, sometimes the kids, there's one, one or two that um, have autism who scream, which I know it's really hard to deal with that to begin with for parents and teachers and bus drivers. But when that happens, Daniel gets freaked out and then he screams and so poor Judy, she, she's She's on a packed bus with kids, and um, I, I just hope it went smoothly. She knows I'm coming. If it doesn't appear to be a good setup for Daniel, then we're just going to bring him home. Uh, they did a nice job. I mean, they had someone here supervising getting him loaded on the bus. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He has never been in regular school ever his whole life. So now this is not regular school, but this is what they call extended school here for any child with special needs who's in special education. They qualify for an extended year school program so they can get therapy, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes from 8.30 until 12.30. And he gets home around 1.30, 1. But nobody's contacted me regarding anything. So I don't even know if it's set up safely for him. He needs to have a certain area where he can be changed. He's YouTube fed, you know, all of his issues are unique to him and he's also very medically fragile. So I know it sounds a little bit overprotective, but where he was before, they were extremely aware of being clean, washing hands, you know, that kind of thing, because there were two children in the classroom who were extremely fragile, and now I just don't know. I'm, I'm a little concerned, so don't be surprised if I bring them home. I'm hoping I'll get over there and I'll be pleasantly surprised because I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but when it comes to Daniel, I don't know, I just get really defensive and I feel like nothing is good enough for him and I get really upset, so anyway, I don't know. The only good thing is that they have therapy there. The only bad thing is every child has therapy there. So I don't know if it's going to be too distracting or if he's going to love it. Who knows? So I'm going to spin over there now. After that, i got to drop my friend off here. He's taking a nap. He's going to go to the groomer and have a nice bath and trim and nails and all the works. His nails are really long. I was going to trim them before my in-laws came over yesterday, but then I figured, you know what, I'm not going to cut them since he's going today, you know. So he was scratching up everybody yesterday. <laughs> my nose is red. I worked out in the sun for like an hour. My nose got all red. Anyway, the other thing is I did feel very vindicated and validated or whatever the good word is when I got my garden and I got working in my garden and I was so proud of myself. And then... <laughs> I got poison ivy all over my arms just above the line of my gloves because I don't know I don't usually get poison ivy but I'm not surprised because it was a big mess in there so now I'm a little itchy 
my leg hurts and I'm itchy. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna get off of here and concentrate on driving to this other school. So what do you think? Daniel's at his new summer school. This is his changing area. <laughs> Slash supply closet. We'll see how it goes. There's a lot of kids in there, but this is where he's gonna just chill out for a little while. Are you okay? Huh? You gonna be okay here? There's nothing worse than platitudes. I hate that. I'll talk to you later. Hi. You okay? I'm gonna change his diaper. You all right? Are you nervous here? Are you gonna stay with Judy, okay? And then, did you have a good time on the bus? He has a scratch. I'm late for Henry's appointment. I'm really not sure how I feel about Daniel's school yet. There's no sink in the area where they're changing him, and I don't know. I'm worried about Judy, because she just seemed like she was alone. Anyway, because there's a bunch of kids and everybody gets therapy, and so I don't, I don't really know who's there to um, be with her. I'm not sure. Uh, she was a, a little unsettled. Like she couldn't even go to the bathroom because she was by herself. Anyway, I'm bringing Henry into the groomer now. Um, Henry, you ready? Let's go. We're taking him in. Oh. Time for his haircut. He's not even that long, but he's gonna look nice and trimmed up. Come here. Come on. Hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You know the drill. Time to go to the groomers. Up you go. Up the ramp. Come on, doggy. I am. Well, he's very... He is not happy with me. Mommy, don't <laughs> Whatever. The dog's life. Oh God, I'm so stressed out. I don't know why. Why does this whole school thing make me so nervous? Um, I walked in and I was like, this is a classroom with about 20 kids. I don't know how many kids were there. And then Dan was in the way in the back in a room separated from everybody. But I think he's going to be with the other kids. I don't know how what they're doing. He doesn't even have that much time there. They call, they leave at 1230 to come home. Anyway. I don't know how I feel about it. He better not get sick. That's all I have to say. He better not get sick. I will be one very unhappy mother. What happened to the curtain? You broke it? No, I was trying to kill flies that were there and it came off. Are you the lord of the flies? No, I don't know if I'm the lord of the flies. I'm the killer of the flies. All right. You look so nice with your nice new haircut. Henry's so handsome. Were you a good dog? Huh? Mr. Spiffy Tail. Hi. Look at you. Let me see. You look so nice. You got your nails done. Yeah. He was very happy to see me and he was a very good boy. Oh. All right. Oh. Let, let Daddy take you out. Come here, boy. I'm going to take a picture of that foot. Just so I can... 
Oh, right now I've been like pushing on it. It doesn't look as, oh yeah, you can still see it. Yeah. yeah. It's like this is, is like folding and pressing yes. upwards. Yeah. 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 And I think it might be happening a little bit in the brace. Right there. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I know all the words. How's that stretching, Tan? That doesn't seem to bother you. You're so tired. Is all the schoolwork we did today? So if you want, let me know if you want me to call the rep about the lift. Let's see, you know, if you're not getting anywhere or something like that. I can do that. Okay. Let me see what I can get at first, and then I'll call you if I yeah. have trouble. So we just finished up physical therapy, and I have to. I got a lot of things I need to work on for Daniel. I have to um, have his uh, AFOs reevaluated. Work on the new slings for his, um, his ceiling lift system. See if I can get his new swing ordered. I'm thinking that maybe one of the grants will cover it. I don't know. And uh, schedule a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. And I'm feeling really tired. My my pain on my leg is starting to hurt. So I uh, probably should sleep a little bit. But it's five o'clock. So. Are you happy? We're charging your iPad over here. He's. You ever had a busy day? Huh? You doing okay? Huh? Like this? Do you like Yo Gabba Gabba, Daniel? Huh? Sometimes uh, I think it makes you sleepy. I think it makes you sleepy. What is this thing? Do you feel how crunchy this one is? This one feels crunchy. Crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy, and they're crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy, munchy, munchy. Did you go to school today, to a different school that you'd never been to? Yeah? Did you like it? No? You didn't like school? Didn't seem very interesting to you, huh? You wanna go back on the bed? You tired? Are you gonna take a nap? You tired? We have so many of these things. Huh? You want to go lay on the bed? What? You okay? Nurse Judy just went to get some food. Come here. Come on. Come on. You want to lay back down? I'll put you over there. Hi, buddy. You here with your boy? Hmm? Where's Daniel, Henry? Hi, Henry. Good morning, world. It's time to wake up. Oh, no, it's not time.